topping our news this evening, a $32 million project in northern Manatee County. For more than a year and a half, crews have been constructing the new Fort Hamer Bridge that will connect Lakewood Ranch to Parish, as well as improving Upper Manatee and Fort Hamer roads. Now, that massive project is in the home stretch. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo tells us when drivers can expect that that long awaited bridge will open. Well, Scott and Haley, at this point, around 20 to 30 construction workers daily can park their trucks right on top the Fort Hamer Bridge, extending from North Shore to the parish side of the river. Residents in parish are gradually seeing it progress. Now, 75% completed. I'm in favor of the bridge. Uh, I'm looking forward to it coming in. John Lynch lives about a half a mile from where the bridge will start. Although he's weary about increased traffic in the area, he's glad to see a north-south connection so close to him. I belong to the YMCA in Lakewood Ranch. It takes me about 25 minutes to get over there. Once that bridge is in, I'm looking at 8 to 10 minutes. Spokesperson for the project, Trudy Jarina, says with the constant growth in Manatee County, that's exactly the reason to connect Lakewood Ranch and Parish. It's also going to help um, commuters from Parish get to Lakewood Ranch quicker. It's also going to provide first responders with a more direct route to get to people that they need to get to. When it's all said and done, the bridge will be more than 2,300 feet long, with 19 piers in all. Jarena saying she gets positive feedback from the general public. It's something that Manatee County has wanted for over 100 years and it has finally happened and I think it's going to be a very exciting project and um, will be a good, good thing for the community when it opens. And from area manager Tom Charles's perspective, he sees the light at the end of the bridge. This project has, has had its difficulties. There's been a few uh, unforeseen issues in the subsoil conditions that we've ran across and I think the team in general making sure this job keeps moving forward. And if everything goes according to plan, the bridge will be completed by the summer of this year. Reporting in Manatee County, Dwayne Lindo, your Suncoast News.